This is just dealing with the different elements of registering your business. There are two things which we regularly hear uh, from uh, members. And one thing that you have to recognize if you're as a vending company, you are a food business. It doesn't matter whether uh, you, do, you just uh, provide uh, coffee uh, and hot beverages or if you also provide packaged snacks. This is not about fresh food. It's about food, any packaged grocery item. So therefore, as you are a food business, you must register. There's not no, maybe we do, maybe we don't. You must register your business as a food business. Now, you will be going and getting a food food hygiene rating uh, because you will be uh, exempt, but you must register your business. There, it's, uh, it's free, it doesn't cost anything, but again, you should register and have at least 28 days before starting to trade, or if you aren't yet registered, get it done now. Also, we've had, we came across this last year, and then you can register. That takes you through to the website, sorry. Um, and you can just uh, uh, step through the website and register, make sure you are registered, and then you're unlikely to get a visit from uh, the uh, uh, hygiene authorities, but you need to be registered. The same goes for uh, whether you need to have a waste license or not. You probably saw this article last year in uh, Planet Vending. Uh, now, anything, so whether it be um, uh, empty uh, ingredients packs or cardboard boxes or even old cups, um, it's it's waste. And even you know, if it's your own waste, you must register. You can you have to carry it separately within within a van if you're bringing it back to to the office. But you must register for a waste license again. If you're only carrying your own debris then it's free um it's sorry if you if it's uh, you're already carrying your own debris it's free but you must you must register i uh, see that we've just had a question come up yeah i'll open it up yep. you can even talk in I'll, I'll yes okay um yeah. yes sorry so um uh, sorry, that's that's the guidance we've had so far. Uh, although I see that uh, Anna Rowett uh, has uh, been told that they they have to register. So do you want to just uh, draw that question out, David? Well, are you able to bring Anna forward? Yes. There you go. Anna, if you want to unmute yourself. Can we hear you, Anna? No, it looks like she's dropped out. Okay. So well, we will uh, we'll we'll come back we'll come back to you we'll come back to you with an answer on that. But yes, uh, it depends on what level of uh, of food and uh, fairness it does vary uh, by authority. But at least you should be should be uh, uh, registered as a food business. Uh, it may be, and again, some people have have been visited uh, by uh, uh, the uh, uh, the local authority uh, and and rated. Um, but in the main, that shouldn't shouldn't be required. But again, we'll answer to you specifically, and we'll we'll come back on that uh, with one of our uh, from one of our experts. <laughs> So reading reading the question, um, like I say, Annie, you can unmute yourself if you wish, but it's looking like they've been in touch with the council and the council have advised them that the hygiene rating scheme uh, would be within scope so that they would be given an hygiene rating scheme. Um, so uh, might be dependent on different councils, don't know, but uh, if that's what they've been, to, if that's what they've told you, then uh, who are we to say that they're not correct? <laughs> 